Dobar dan svima u ime Nove ekspertima Hrvatska. Hvala vam što ste se prijavili i nadam se da ćete uživati u današnjoj prezentaciji. Današnju prezentaciju će vam držati Zineb iz Nove ekspera Francuska. Ukoliko budete imali nekakva pitanja, možete ih postaviti u chat u toku prezentacije ili na kraju prezentacije. Obzirom da će biti sve na engleskom jeziku, bilo bi lakše za Zineb dok će odgovarati na vaše pitanja da ih postavite na engleskom. Ono što je još važno na početku napomenuti, bit će mala nagradna igra i nagrađivat ćemo pet najboljih slušatelja, odnosno slušateljica. Svoje odgovore ćete također pisati u četno, sve će vam zine u toku prezentacije objasniti. Uživajte! Ok, I did not understand a word, but you know, I am going to introduce myself. My name is Zineb and I'm a communication scientist from Novexpert. And today uh, our theme is going to be uh, the acne and especially adult and young adult acne. Um, we're going to talk about this topic because uh, at Novexpert we had a lot of you know, feedbacks coming from dermatologists, coming from pharmacists, and they had many people and more and more patients complaining about having acne, although they already have become adults and they are not teenagers anymore. So the aim of this presentation is really to understand why do we still have acne uh, even though we grew up, we became adults, um, what is actually going on, what are the causes, and how Novexpert can answer all these types of uh, elements. Um, so maybe uh, Matthias said it, but I uh, just repeat, there will be a small quiz, you know, uh, a little question uh, that uh, I'm going to be asking you. And for the first five person who answer right, they will have a surprise and a gift. So let's start all together and uh, try to understand what is going on actually with acne, especially when we become adults. So. This is uh, what we are going to be talking about. And the first thing that we noticed is that acne is the epidemic of modernity. So why is it the epidemic of modernity? Actually, what we noticed is that here, I don't know if you see very well in the charter, but I will explain. On the top, you have very developed countries, and on the low, you have less developed countries. Actually, what we notice that happened is that the more countries become developed, the more acne uh, is impacted on the population. So, for example, we had in this charter uh, the evolution of acne from the 1980s until 2015. And what we noticed that like in Europe, in uh, the US, in big cities in the world, the acne always grow a uh, among time from the 80s to 2015. But for countries that are less developed, like South Asia, like countries such as Thailand or uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, etc. In the 80s, they were very poor. They were not so developed and the level of acne was very low. But when they got developed very fast in the last 20 years, the amount and the evolution of acne also grow so fast. So what we notice first is that there is a direct correlation between the modernity, the way we become very modern, occidental life, and the acne. Now, regarding the evolution of acne through whole life, and especially for women. So the first thing that we noticed is that before, you used to have acne only when you were a teenager. So here this is between 13 and 15, and here 16 and 18. When you were a teenager, this is the, let's say, period of time that you are supposed to have acne. But what we noticed is that first thing, now the girls start to have acne and start to have their period very early. 
in the beginning of the 19th century, uh, of the 20th century, sorry, in 19 uh, something, 1901, 1902, etc., the girls used to have their periods around 14 years old. Okay. Now, the average age when the girl start to have her period is around 10 years old. This is very, very early. So this is the first thing that we noticed is that girls start to have their period very early and it starts around 10. And the second thing that we noticed is that after they have been teenagers, the acne lasts all year. It, uh, it lasts all the life, like when they are 20, when they are 30, when they are 40, and even when they are 50s. So basically, acne before, it was very uh, specific for uh, teenagers, but now we notice that not only it starts very early, but it lasts all, la all life uh, time, even when they are adults. Now let's take a very quick look to uh, the explosion of acne, especially for female uh, adults. First thing that we notice is that, of course, there is a difference between men and women. When we were teenager, the men used to have the, the boys used to have more acne than girls. But when we grew up, women they became the champions of acne. They are the ones who are winning and they have not only more acne, so you can see 61% of women have acne and 39% of men, they have acne. So the difference between female and male is huge. The, the girls and the, the female, they are more impacted with acne. This is the first thing. And the second thing is that not only we have more acne, but we also have a more severe version of acne. For example, if you look at this chart very quickly, you can see that in the darkest green color, it's men, in the lighter green color is uh, women. So for, uh, let's say, moderated acne, women and men are pretty much equal. But for clinical acne and more severe acne, the women definitely wins and women rule the acne world, let's say. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit of a scary moment because we are going to go behind the scene of uh, a pimple, of how uh, it's creating, etc. So, uh, if you are a little bit afraid, so maybe you can hide because this is going to be a little bit scary. We are going to see how the acne appears and how the pimple appears. So please hide if you are afraid or don't look, maybe it's going to be too scary for you. So let's take a look now. Please light, <laughs> thank you. So he, this is what is happening actually in our skin when uh, the pimple is appearing. First step, everything is fine. Here the skin is uh, perfectly healed. Nothing is going on. Second step, because of a lot of causes, because of a lot of reasons that I'm going to explain more in details, if you look just right here behind me, you can see the first step of the creation of a pimple. So what's going on? The sebum is produced in the same area where you have your hair, okay? In your face or everywhere in your body. You have what we call sebaceous gland. They produce the sebum. The sebum is, uh, uh, producing, uh, is produced in our skin and it is protecting us from uh, aggressions. It is like a film that can protect us from many uh, interaction with um, the, uh, outside, uh, of the outside. So, it is very important and having sebum, it's perfectly normal. But when you have a pimple, what happens is that your skin starts to produce more sebum, okay? So you have more production because of many reasons. This is the first thing. Second thing, 
your skin also starts to produce a lot of skin cells. And all those skin cells, they are going to go to the surface and they're going to close the pore and they're going to close it so the sebum cannot go out anymore. So you have two things, your skin, the pore is completely closed, the sebum cannot go out. And this environment, just right here, is perfect for the development of bacteria and especially a bacteria which is called P. acnes. So you have this perfect environment where you have a lot of sebum, sebum cannot get out, it's closed by a lot of cells, skin cells, and the bacteria that is developing. When you have this bad bacteria, your skin always reacts and is sending, you know, the soldiers, which are white cells, to kill this bacteria. And this is the third step when you start to have the inflammation and everything is red around the pimple. It's because your white cells come to rescue your skin, come to kill the uh, bacteria, P. acnes, and why they are killing it. At the moment when they are killing it, they are destroying everything around and they are creating inflammation. And because your skin wants to make sure that there is no bacteria left, they keep sending these new soldiers and they keep destroying everything around. And this is the last step of inflammation. So if you have any question during this presentation, please feel free to ask and to, uh, to write in our chat. And at the end of the presentation, I will read your question and try to answer them. So definitely feel free to ask, okay? Now that we saw actually what is going on, we are going to discuss some myths or truth. Uh, for example, is the chocolate aggravating acne? Um, is acne contagious? And try to see through all these myths or maybe some truth. Now let's see the causes why do we still have acne when we are adult and what is going on? So definitely one of the first causes of acne that is very well known among everyone is our hormonal system. Our hormones are one of the main reasons why we have acne and explains a lot of things. So here you can see the acne, especially during adolescence. You can see here this is the age and here you have the amount of uh, hormone that we have. So between the age of zero and 10, the amount of hormone is very low. When we are kids, we have practically no hormones. When we grow up, and because now the adolescence and the teenager age is super, super early, and it's starting already at 10, you can see once the age of 10 is reached, the amount of hormone completely explodes. And this is one of the reasons that explains why the acne also explodes in, uh, in our skin. It's because the balance of hormones is crazy. This is one of the first reasons, adolescence, but this is perfectly normal. Now, the second thing that is definitely not normal is that we are surrounded by hormonal disruptors. This is a huge alert, I'm telling you. So what does this mean? What is a disrupted hormone? What is uh, disrupting our hormones? What is uh, non-docrine disruptors? Maybe you have heard of this word, maybe not, maybe you're not so sure, maybe you don't have enough information. So I will try to explain as simple as possible what is going on actually and what is like something very bad going on and that we really need to be aware of and to be very, very careful. So basically we are surrounded with many things like plastic bubbles, like cans, like, uh, I don't know, paintings that have molecules that we are in contact with. And these molecules, they have the effect to uh, disrupt our hormonal system. How do they do this? They do it three ways. Either they block our hormones, 
either they boost our hormones or they do the exact same thing. In all those three cases, it's really bad. And this is what happened with one of the most famous endocrine disruptors that is now banned in cosmetics and in chemistry in general. It's called bisphenol A. I don't know if you have heard about it, but this molecule used to be everywhere. It used to be in the cans. It used to be in plastic bottles. It was inside, you know, uh, to protect the food from being in contact with the, with the jar. And so we were eating it and we were also touching it, for example, from um, the tickets that you can get when you uh, pay something, they give you a receipt. Um, now, just, you know, in France, when you get a receipt behind, it's written without bisphenol A because they discovered that this molecule here disrupted our hormones and especially for women, it increased the level of our testosterone. To be clear, men have, they have testosterone, but women, we also have it, but we have eight times less testosterone than men. But because of endocrine disruptors and because of all these molecules, they increased our level of testosterone by 188%. It's huge. What does it mean? It means that we, women, are becoming male. This is the simple explanation. We have our testosterone that is boosted and we have high amount. So this is also one of the reasons why the acne is more developed because uh, in women because we also have our hormonal system disturbed. But there are also three moments in the life of a woman where the, testos where the uh, hormonal system is disturbed. Uh, I was talking about teenager uh, age, you know? But you also have uh, our, when we have our periods. So when we have our periods before the menstruation, you know, seven days roughly, our hormonal system is disturbed. So this is also why uh, sometimes before your period, you start to get acne, one pimple or two. It's because the balance of your hormones is not the same as when you don't have uh, your periods. So this is the, third, the second one. First, teenager, you start having hormones. Second, each time of the cycle, the menstruation. And third, it's during pregnancy. So when a woman starts getting pregnant, sometimes it has, she has the hormonal acne. And this hormonal acne is very hard to be treated because you cannot use a lot of the products in the market because they can be harmful and they can uh, interact with the baby growing, etc. So this is the first reason, internal cause, hormone. Now let's see the external causes. What is acne aggravating, how is it, and what is going on? And one of the first thing is our lifestyle and especially the cosmetics we are using. Yes, cosmetics, they play a role on aggravating our acne. How do they do it? Two ways, either they are too aggressive or they are comedogenic. So what does it mean? Basically, uh, when someone is uh, having acne, uh they tend to um you know use very aggressive products i'm sorry i'm just trying to focus so you can see well um very aggressive product i was saying because you feel that your skin has a lot of sebum you feel that your skin is very oily and you need to wash it to take everything off but actually this is a vicious circle because once you wash your face and you take off all the sebum that protects you, the skin gets the information that there is no more sebum on your skin and that they need to produce more in order to protect the skin. So the more you wash, the more your face and your skin is producing sebum. So you get the exact opposite effect that you are looking for. So first thing, aggressive product, taking off the sebum and the skin reacting. Second thing, comedogenic products. What does comedogenic mean? It means that it's closing the pore and it's uh, producing acne and it's aggravating acne. 
For example, you have uh, people who are using too many products. So imagine you apply a first layer, second layer, third layer, if you're using a serum, then a toner, then a mist, then a cream, mask, etc. All this aggravates acne because you are using too many products. This is one first option. Or because of the ingredient you are using in your product. If you are using product that contains, for example, silicones, or that contains ingredient coming from a synthetic origin, like Vaselina oil, like uh, petroleum, etc., they basically come from plastic origin. So you are creating a plastic film on top of your skin, and your skin cannot breathe anymore. You close the pore, the sebum cannot come out, and this is the perfect environment for the bacteria P. acnes. And we are back to the, uh, um, the creation of a pimple and how it, uh, it works. So two things, aggressive comedogen. Now let's talk about the nutrition. And this has been a very interesting topic because for a while, um, we had not really information about the nutrition. There were some doubts, but nothing was sure. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a question, and this is going to be our little game, and there will be five winners. Uh, according to you, which are the ingredients, or maybe the food, you think that aggravates acne, or that you think that when you eat this, I don't know, let's say, uh, an apple and you feel that oh after i eat an apple i have pimples or something like that so i let you few seconds to think and to uh, send us your um you know the uh, ingredients or the products you think that when you eat them they aggravate acne or they produce acne or you have pimples etc so remember five of you at the end uh, are going to be selected if they have the right answer and they will have um, like a gift. So in order, before answering your question, so I let you uh, uh, send us uh, your answers. Um, scientists has been interested and wanted to know if in the world, is there a country or is there a place where no one has acne at all? So that was the first step to try to understand how the nutrition can impact or not maybe our acne. So the story begins uh, actually in this place, uh, discovery of a population without acne. So the scientists really find many places in the world where there is absolutely no acne. And one of these places is this island that you see here. So you can see very nice beach. It's actually called Kitawa Island. And this island is based in the Pacific Ocean. So in the Pacific Ocean, you have people living here and they have no acne. They're very happy. So uh, they don't have acne at all. Not even when they're teenager. Nothing from the beginning of their life to the end of their life. So the scientists were very interested, trying to understand how come people living here do not have acne out. So they decided to go there and to, you know, see how the people uh, live, what they eat, what are their habits, etc. So they went to Kitawa and they stayed there for many years. And they noticed that the people there have a very old fashioned and lifestyle. Um, they only eat the food that they find in this island. So basically it comes from fish. Uh, they only have uh, fruits, some vegetables, but there is no animals, no agriculture. Very, very uh, old way of living. So they got interested and they wanted to know that if maybe it's genetic, maybe the people living here they have a gene that makes them never have acne. So in order to answer this question, they picked a few people from this island and they sent them to a more modern life, to countries with, you know, 
buildings and more occidental life and occidental food. Okay, so they sent them there for a few years and made them come back. And when they come back, their skin was full of pimples and acne. Interesting. So it means that it is not genetic, that if you take someone from this island to a modern country, they start having acne. And this is how they start studying their behavior. So of course you can see they live in a very uh, beautiful place. It's very uh, peaceful. Uh, they are not so stressed, but this is also the food and the, uh, um, the elements that they are eating. And we find out that they have very specific things that they do not eat at all, that we, in the modern and occidental food we have, it's milk, sugar, and cereals. Actually, the nutrition from Kitawa is based on fish, vegetables, fruits. So the only sugar that they get is coming from fruit. And our modern countries, we eat a lot of processed sugar, a lot of industrial food, a lot of meat, a lot of diaries, a lot of uh, uh, cereals. And all this has a direct impact in our health, in our skin. And what happens is that we notice that there is a level of insulin. So insulin is the hormone that is produced when we eat too much sugar. So when we eat a lot of sugar, the insulin amount in our body increases. And with this increase, there is another, um, uh, let's say, molecule that is produced in our body, but in our skin, it's called IGF-1. But just you know, food has a very huge impact in, our, um, in the behavior of our skin and the aggravation of acne. And let me show you something here. In these two pictures, we took a person that already had acne, and we um, and this person had two types of diets. So the first one here, which you can see, has a diet very rich in sugar. And when she did a diet with very uh, with more sugar, the amount and the level of acne was very high. It really increased. After that, for a month, another diet with less sugar and just with changing one thing with reducing the amount of sugar we already start to see results on the skin so basically here it really explains that the sugar has a direct impact on the skin and the level of acne by this experiment and the same thing with, you know, the milk and the diaries, etc. We know that they are acne boosters because of IGF-1. You eat too much sugar, you eat too much diaries, it produces insulin and the insulin produces IGF-1 and IGF-1 has an impact on acne directly. Now the stress. Stress also has been a huge trigger for acne. And we really notice that the uh, stress is uh, having huge impact uh, on our daily life, etc. And uh, the more we are stressed, the more we have high level of acne. So I'm just going to become this. Okay. So we did also the same experiment uh, among a group of students that already have acne and we noticed that when they are stressed, the level of acne also increased at the same level, at the same uh, amount. So definitely acne is aggravated when the people are very stressed. And what is the main substance, but this is uh, more detailed. So if you need more information about the molecules, about the, uh, you know, the proteins that are um, uh, produced by our body, I can give you more details, but I will go quickly, you know. We know that the substance P is produced when we are stressed and that aggravates acne. So but if you need more information, I will be happy to answer later. So to sum up, 
At NovExpert, we tried to understand in a very global way, you know, a very uh, global approach to understand acne. We didn't only want it to treat the symptoms. We wanted to understand what are the reasons, what is going on. And we understood that it is uh, internal in one hand because of our hormonal system that is disturbed during teenager, a, during a, when we are teenager, during our periods, during pregnancy, but also disturbed because of hormonal molecules that can interact with our body. This is the first reason. Second one, because of cosmetics, either they are too aggressive or too comedogenic, too many layers, ingredients that come from uh, silicones or uh, vaselina oil or this kind of elements. Uh, third one, our nutrition. And today we cannot say that the food we eat has no impact. It's absolutely false. The nutrition and what we eat definitely has an impact. And the last one is the stress. Same thing, stress acts on acne and the stress has also impact and uh, uh, aggravate the acne. So this is what we find out. Now, how to answer this? At NovExpert, we have developed our trio zinc line to answer both internal and external causes. This line is going to answer all of them. How? So first, thanks to triozinc. So triozinc is uh, going to act on uh, one of the main, you know, molecule that is uh, working on the uh, on our hormonal system because of our hormones, because of our uh, testosterone that is boosted, and uh, because of this. The, increase of the testosterone is reduced thanks to the zinc. So here you have some figures, but again, I don't want to go too much into the details and you get bored. So we just focus on that the zinc is helping to reduce the issues coming from the hormones. We also act on the cosmetic sides. So all of our line is a two in one uh, product. They are at the same time anti-acne, but they are also anti-aging. Why? Because we don't want you to be putting too many layers on your skin. So when you are an adult, you start to have acne, but you still need to treat uh, the aging problems. So with the NovExpert line, with the Triozinc line, you are going to be able to have an anti-acne pro uh, anti product and anti-aging product. This is first thing. So we are acting on the comedogenic, comedogenic side. Second thing, it's regarding the aggressiveness. So usually people with acne, they use too many aggressive products. So this, this was something we really cared about. And we wanted to create products that are very respectful for your skin, um, that are not aggressive, that do not contain any um, surfactant, any sulfates, any ingredients that could be too aggressive. So this we all about. Then regarding the stress, we discovered that you have a main molecule that is produced when you are stressed, which is the substance P. Now we added uh, ingredients coming from natural origin that is going to help to reduce the amount of this substance and to really release the stress. So basically using the triozinc line, it's like meditating and uh, having like a zen moment for your skin. It's really uh, having, a, you know, relaxing moments for your skin and for uh, the uh, inflammation effect that it can have. So definitely acting on the stress side. Now regarding the nutrition, of course, you're not going to be eating no expert products. I would not advise it, but you also have the triosine that is acting on IGF-1. IGF-1 is the molecule that is produced because of insulin and insulin is produced because of eating too much sugar, too much diaries. The triosine is reducing the amount of IGF-1 on the skin and 
So even if you keep eating the uh, uh, diaries and uh, sugar, the triosine client is going to act on it. But we not only focus on the causes, we also focus on the uh, uh, symptoms because when you have acne, when you have pimple, once the pimple is gone, usually it leaves you with a great souvenir, with a great memory, like a scar, like hyperpigmentation, and something to disfigure you know, your face. So in order also to work on this, we have uh, an ingredient also coming from natural origin, which is called bacuchiol. Bacuchiol is kind of a retinol-like, so basically we are having all the benefits from retinol without all the inconvenience. And this bacuchiol natural ingredient is going to reduce the hyperpigmentation, is going to act on the scar uh, side. So not only we look for the causes, but we also look for the symptoms. Trios incline. If you need to remember about Novexpert, it has three main innovations. First innovation is the discovery of the people without acne and the way they behave and the food, so the triosine acts on IGF-1 caused by our modern nutrition. This is the first innovation. Second innovation, we act on the stress molecule, substance P that is also one of the causes of acne and aggravate acne. And the third innovation that it is the only brand in the market that is at the same time anti-aging, but also anti-acne. Both of them, two in one product. And at last, all of the line and all of our products in general, but also this using line, it is compatible for pregnant and breastfeeding women. And I know that this point is very important because women that are uh, pregnant, usually they cannot choose any product in the market. It's forbidden for them. It can interact with the baby growth. Trios inclined can be totally safe for them. They can use it. And it can be used by men, by women, both. Absolutely no problem. We have no fetal hormones, uh, no interaction with our hormonal system. It's perfectly safe. And it also can be used by teenagers. So I know this line is, has been developed for young adults and adults, but for example, a teenager who is following medical treatment can also use the triosine line to uh, reduce the symptoms and also to you know, uh, improve the effect of the drugs uh, he is taking. We have one of the highest concentration of zinc that is authorized in Europe. So you will have in our line high amount of zinc and zinc is very well known among dermatologists to have uh, great effects, especially on acne, antibacterial, etc. So I'm not sure yet you can see here, but I will show you very quickly some results that for uh, tests we have done with the trio zinc line during two months uh, for a third of our testers there have been 100% less uh, pimples and papules. And for the majority, it was a reduction of 50%. We also have reduction of redness, of the hyperpigmentation, the size of the wrinkles. But this is just some results that uh, have been conducted. So really have anti-acne, but also anti-aging at the same level. Trios and guarantee, to sum up, it's safe, it's healthy, it is 100% natural product. All of the ingredients are 100% natural, all of them, not 98%, 99%, 100%. They are all hypoallergenic, so they have no allergen, they can be, uh, they can be uh, used by all skin types. And they also contain no allergens, no preservatives. Uh, they contain no sulfate, no SLS, etc. So the list is very, very long. No essential oils can be used by men, by women, by teenagers, pregnant women. Everyone can use Novexpert line. But really, remember, I will talk about the products later. 
Something I really want you to uh, understand is that I know that people who suffer from acne, usually they have tried everything. They uh, have tried many products, many drugs, etc., and they struggle and they are really having high expectations when they try the products. They really want to see the results. But they really need to keep in mind something is that the triosing line or any cosmetics is not going to answer all their products. They really need to be having a good behavior for their skin. For example, starting with the nutrition, they can try to avoid sugar or to reduce at least, to avoid cereals and to avoid uh, milk and diaries. Um, for one side, we know that the stress has an impact. So maybe they can start to have uh, I don't know, uh, to do some exercise, relaxing, like yoga and meditation. Those uh, sports, they really proved a lot of benefits for the skin. Uh, they should also try to avoid to use too many cosmetics, uh, to have more reduced routine and really select more the quality than the quantity. Having too many products is not going to answer. Maybe choose less, but choose better. And if the person is really suffering from acne, but has also other symptoms like loss of hair, uh, like maybe deregulation in the period, then we would advise to get uh, maybe a checkup, you know, a blood test, because sometimes acne is just the first symptom of something more deep, uh, some maybe disease, some uh, issue with the immune system balance or stuff like that. So just really take care of this. Of course, using cosmetics is going to help, but try to have maybe a global approach. Try to see the food, the sports, the uh, cosmetics, the product that you are using. So if I come back to our product, I will give you two types of routine. If you have, let's say, moderated acne or maybe just pimples from time to time, or if you have more severe with uh, very often and more uh, acne. So we have a cleanser, very gentle, very respectful for the skin, for the hydrolipidic film uh, that is going to clean the face. Uh, it's not too aggressive. So someone with moderated acne can maybe use the cleanser at night uh, in order to take off all the pollution, to clean the face, etc. And after that, can use either the uh, purifying fluid or gel. Uh, our two, uh, these are two um, skincare moisturizers. You have fluid texture or gel. Same product, it's just the texture that changes. Fluid uh, is going to bring more hydration and gel is more light. Depends on what you like. And so, and that's it. And maybe sometimes if you have local people or local spot, you can use our uh, um, express blemish care directly on the spot three times a day and after 24 hours the pimple is gone so this is like the perfect product to have every day in your purse or in your bag uh, in case you have pimple you can directly apply it so this is the routine for let's say moderated acne for more aggravated acne you can do the same thing wash your face in the evening maybe also in the morning but i really think in the evening is sufficient maybe in the morning apply the triosine mist in order to uh, refresh the face to have mattifying purifying effect and can also use it if you put makeup on to uh, have a fixator effect so it's going to fix your makeup and choose between fluid or gel and after that, using the um, uh, uh, Express Blemish Care directly on the spot. And you also have another product, which is a peeling night lotion. This lotion can be used as a cure for a month or two. And you use it only at night. Um, you clean your face, you wait for 15 minutes, and then you apply the lotion directly on a cotton pad on the face, but also if you have acne on the back, uh, on uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the fore part of your body or any part of the body that you think have acne, you can use it. 
once every two nights. So not every night. If you apply it today, you wait the day after tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera, for one month or two months, depending if you see results, etc. If you have more questions about the routine, about uh, how to use the products, if you want to discover the products, etc., we would be happy to uh, answer your questions. So I hope you learned some new things about uh, acne, about the causes, about what is uh, very important in uh, the acne process, what are the elements that aggravate it. And if you have, you know, any other questions, I'm just looking at the chat, so I can see no questions. Uh, the person who answered the uh, quiz are going to be contacted to uh, get their gifts later. And uh, hopefully talking to you soon. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.